Ladies and gentlemen, subscribers and frequent viewers of my channel, today we are going to embark on a journey. A journey through the life and times and works of a major heavy metal band and known as Metallica. They've had a major impact on music history and, well, they've even had a personal impact on myself as they were one of the first heavy metal bands I ever got into. And I'm sure a lot of people could say the same. So today we begin our journey with Kill 'Em All, the first Metallica album. Granted, this was not the first album by Metallica I had ever heard, but when I did hear this album, I knew that, I knew straight away that this, this was something, that this was something a bit special. The fact that there really isn't, it, compared to the first album of Metallica that I had ever listened to, this was different. This had no tracks that just seemed weak to me. All of it fit in place perfectly. And even though for its time and its budget, the sound quality is very good compared to other uh, bands that had just upstarted around that time. The production quality of this album is superb compared to, um, say, even Megadeth's first album, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good. Tracks like Hit the Lights, Phantom Lord, Jump in the Fire... Metal Militia, those are all songs that are frequently played on, whether it be on my personal music player, the computer that I'm recording this video with. They all are in constant rotation. And the impact that this band had on the metal scene in the 80s, they were an answer to a call for better metal, I guess you could say. Because at the time, you were getting the whole glam metal or hair metal, stuff like, um, you know, bands like Poison, Motley Crue, all coming out onto the scene, wearing makeup, and looking like women, essentially. And Metallica sort of was the leading voice against this movement. This is from what I understand. If you ask me, Th the whole thrash scene wouldn't have happened if it weren't for Exodus. But um, a lot of people just generally accept that Metallica, because they eventually became one of the biggest thrash bands on the planet, they just assume that they were the leaders. Kill 'em All is an album that I can pop in at any time and enjoy. Granted, others around me may not enjoy the fact that I'm listening to uh, Metallica. A lot of people even still have, that I know, still have prejudice towards even uh, Metallica's early works. And the fact that this is also a band that divides people, especially coming into their later works, which we'll get to. We'll get to that bridge. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But for now... Kill 'em All is just a tour de force. An album that, frankly, can't be matched. You look at all of the th Big Four's first albums, and you will find that Kill 'em All, it just can't be beat. Kill 'em All, to me, is one of the most influential heavy metal albums of all time, easily in the top ten. Granted, not top five, but easily in the top ten. It has had an influence on me as a guitar player and as a frequent listener of heavy metal music. Kill 'em All, if I had to give it a numerical grade, would of course be a ten out of ten. You can't argue with you can't argue with just how magnificent this album really is. And how every time that you listen to it, you can get pumped up for something, whether uh, you are a participant in a sports activity, or if you're just walking around town, you want to start doing some long distance running, pop in Kill 'em All. Granted, Kill 'em All is not my favorite Metallica album, 
it's still a great album. 10 out of 10 for Kill 'Em All. Danny here from Battle Couch. And, well, our next stop, Ride the Lightning. <laughs>